Hello everyone, so this is going to be my little tutorial on how to sort out uh, your live web stream chat from YouTube. And uh, I've had some kind of teething problems with this, but you know, it works and I'm quite happy with it. Anyway, so without further ado, what we'll do is go straight into what we've got to do first. So here we go, we've got my uh, OBS uh, studio here. And what we're going to do is first of all go to my live stream. And here you go, you've got your live stream already getting ready to set, uh, which I'm not going to kick off because I don't want to do live streaming because this will confuse matters. And all we want to do is uh, I'll click on restore chat, but you can have your live chat up here. And what I want to do is tick on, click on the three dots, click on pop out chat. Once your pop out chat comes up, what you want to do is up here you've got a, a URL so what you just do is highlight it all copy and you can just be oh let's just leave it there that's fine then what we want to do is come back to OBS and you can either right click and click on add and then browser or plus icon and browse it's going to do exactly the same thing and what we'll call that is chat Click on OK, and what it will do is it will default to this. So basically, this is the just showing you on that it's got an internal, sorry, an external browser source. I'm sorry, so and it's going through to the OBS project. But what we want to do is we want to take this URL out and Control and V and paste in our current one. What we want to then do is click on OK, and then hey presto, you got your chat. Simple as that. So that that's the basic. So what we'll do is we'll just prove that it's all working. So we'll say, hello world. As you can see, I've done it previously, but so uh, you'll see I've popped it on there and then it should come through in a second. There we go. So you can see that there is some form of um, delay in the background, but obviously it's going around the world and all doing all sorts of other things. But anyway, let's minimize that. Uh, so now what I want to do is make that look a little bit prettier and the way we do it is we'll go to oops, um, this website here which is called chatv2.septopus.com and it's a great great little website it's very basic it's uh, very intuitive uh, it gives you an example of how everything's going to look over here and you can see whereas if I change the font size um, Things change, uh, move things around, probably make that a little bit larger actually. Um, and yeah, you can just customize as you see fit. You can, uh, so a sponsor color, uh, you can see by moving it around, it changes all different colors. Let's make it really in your face, bright pink. That'll do. Now, what we want to do is once you're happy with how it looks, scroll down here and then you want to get to the top of this you've got to copy every single line of code in here or it won't work so what we'll do is you can if I control and A will allow you to copy it all click on copy sorry control and A will select it all right click and copy we'll get it to put in there then what we want to do is you can either right click and properties or double click on chat Either either or it will do exactly the same thing. We'll take everything out of custom CSS. Uh, CSS, for those who don't know, stands for Cascading Style Sheets, and it's the way the majority of browsers will actually render the whether it's the the colour of a font, whether it's the the size of the text, etc., etc. And that's essentially what that chat uh, chat uh, web page does. It allows you to do that, and it gives you the actual. Um, information to use uh, the code to use so once we do sorry once we do that and paste it in we can click on ok and then you can see that it all changes now I've run into this uh, and it's and I don't know exactly why I think there's a bug somewhere along the line if you do that pasting and this doesn't work all you need to do is change the word studio to gaming and you'll see that even when I'm changing it, makes no difference on how it works, but I did run into this earlier, and when doing this video initially on my fourth take, 
actually worked and I don't know why but if that helps you out please let me know I want to know whether it's just me and I can't understand why in the comments below but there you go that's on how you uh, adjust that you can make some other form of adjustments here where you can make it uh, thinner and also let's make it a little bit longer okay and you can see you can just move that around and then just adjust things slightly and there you go and that'll all work so hopefully that has helped someone if it just helps one person i'm more than happy but if it doesn't help anyone just just let me know and let me know in the comments anyway enough of me rambling on i'll see you all later for another video thanks